I think today it is a perfect moment for me to go over some hacks to achieve your financial freedom. Listen, we just celebrated July 4th a few days ago. And July 4th is a holiday for some American people to celebrate the Declaration of Independence living in the United States. And for majority of the people, I tell you, July 4th is just simply another holiday for them to have a reason to barbecue, get friends together, drink some amazing wine, some beers, and just have a lot of fun and watching fireworks in the evening. Now that's all good. But for a person like me who immigrated to the United States from Hong Kong, China, over three decades ago, July 4th is definitely a holiday that's very meaningful to me, dearly until today. And to me, it is a holiday a lot more than simply eating great foods and drinking wine and beer. As an immigrant who immigrated from Hong Kong, China to this country over three decades ago, I can sincerely tell you from my heart, this is probably the only country in the world that allows average and ordinary people to achieve their financial freedom at the best opportunities. Um, I truly believe personally, if you are someone who can walk, talk, sleep, think, you can wake up in the morning as a normal human being, meaning you just can do all that and function normally. That's all I mean. You can pretty much achieve your own version of financial freedom if you live in the United States. So today, I want to talk about some hacks. How exactly average and ordinary people are able to achieve their financial freedom. Now, currently, I'm at the Seaborne Cruise. Okay, In about a few hours, we are selling out from uh, Greece at Athens to many different parts of Greece and eventually, we're going to be docking at Turkey, Istanbul, seven days from now. And this particular cruise is one of the most luxury, expensive, unique, special cruise in the world. This cruise is booked by my partner, a mentor that I had to learn from for many, many decades. I was shadowing under this individual and watch how he was able to achieve so much success and more important than just success, achieve his financial freedom years ago. And again, this cruise line here itself to book a private cruise that can fit over 600 of our sales leaders for seven days. It costs over a few million dollars for seven days. And years ago, I was able to learn from a mentor, which is my partner now. I call him my friend and brother now. And having the opportunity to watch him firsthand, some of the hacks that he had taught me, why the wealthy people in this country, in this world, actually became wealthy. So today, I would love to share with you some of the hacks that I was able to study from him, some of the hacks I was able to study from other successful and wealthy people that also led to my financial freedom today. Hack number one. Create and increase massive cash flow with one opportunity for one decade. Did you hear what I just said? You got to learn how to make money first. You got to get into one opportunity, not five different things, not two different things, not seven different things. One opportunity that you can immerse yourself to learn the ins and out of that particular industry. And you're going to stick with that industry for minimum one decade. If you're willing to do that, you pretty much will become an expert in that one industry. So a lot of people have this biggest misconception. Oh, in order for me to become financial free, I got to cut down all my expenses. Well, that's not number one, right? If you don't have cash flow, if you don't have money, it doesn't matter how much expenses you are willing to cut. You're not able to scale your income. You're not able to get to a level where you have a lot more money than your expenses. So the number one thing, one more time, it's no more than just focusing on one opportunity, one decade, and give it all you got. If your expenses, for example, 
is $5,000 a month. Your goal is not to cut $500, okay, out of that $5,000 expenses, okay? Your goal is to focus it on where, which opportunity, which industry I want to immerse myself in and learn everything about that industry. And I want to commit to make $20,000 a month. If you make $20,000 a month, your expense is $5,000. Now you create a $15,000 discretionary positive income, monthly income in this case. And that's when the game to become financial free start. Hack two, cut down all of your one expense. You have two types of expense. One expense and must expense. Now the must expense are expense that you must pay to live, to survive, to build a great business, such as what? Your rent, your groceries, tools that's gonna help you to expand your business, maybe licensing fees if you're in the real estate and insurance business. Could be E and O, you know, it could be um, opening an office because you are in a Sales business where you are hiring and recruiting and developing sales leaders like what I've been doing for many years. Those are must expense that you should not cut. You need to have it, right? But then the other part is the one expense. One expense are, oh, I want a new Uberlet watch. That's a one expense. I want to buy a Maserati Gran Turismo. That is a one expense. You know what? My apartment right now is too small. You know, I want to move from a three thousand dollars a month apartment. I got to get to an apartment that you know is, is, is I can see the ocean, I can see the waterfront, but that's gonna cost me sixteen thousand dollars a month. It's pretty cool to have it. I just make some great money. That's a one expense. Hack number two is extremely important. A lot of people when they start to make money, they start to buy all this one stuff. So learn how to cut down all one expense. Write down a list of one items. And this is something that you dream to have one day, and that's okay, but just for not for right now. You got what I'm saying? And hack number three, pay off all of your bad debts that are charging you from the highest interest rate to the lowest interest rate. Bad debts are what? Credit card debts, car loans, those are bad debts. Those debts is not allowing you to appreciate what you bought using their money, right? So. List a bunch of debts that you owe. Credit card number one, credit card number two, car loans number one, uh, student loans, whatever that might be right now, right? Write down the balance, write down what is the interest the bank is charging you. So let's say credit card number one, you're owing $10,000 and the interest the bank is charging you is 18.5%. And that's the highest interest rate and then you list that from 18.5 to 15% to 9% to 6% to 4%. So now you have everything clearly written down on a piece of paper. Now you focus all of your energy while you're making money, cut down all your one expense. Now you're focusing on paying off your bad debts. Focus on one at a time. Focus on paying off the bad debt who charges, which charges you the highest interest rate First, get rid of the $10,000, 18.5% credit card first. Now, when you get rid of that six months down the road, you feel so much more confident. Now you pay off one. Now go to number two. The second one that charged you, 16%. You pay off that one too. Then eventually, 19 months down the road, you'll be like completely debt free, at least from bad debts, all right? So that's number three, hack number three. And hack number four is a big one. It's a very difficult one. I'll tell you right now, I'm the victim of this one. Is I notice a lot of people when they start to make money and 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 and, and just having just so much excitement within them and, and they just simply, man, start to become loose with their money. Right? When you when you lose with your money, you lose eventually. You know what I'm saying? So Hack number four is something that I had learned as I was maturing as an entrepreneur, as a man, as a person, is learn how to live below your mean for minimum five years. Doesn't matter how much money you make. 
Try to live below your mean for minimum five years. Don't change your living style at least for five years. That's what I'm saying. Don't change anything. Don't buy anything new. All right. You make half a million dollars a year. Pay your tax. Right. You know, if you're an entrepreneur, you get to write off and deduct a lot of expenses. Right. And that's a good thing for being a 1099 independent contractor, being an entrepreneur. The rest of the money, don't go out there and, and, and start to buy a bunch of stuff. One more time. Live below your means for minimum five years. And hack number five is what's going to get you to financial freedom is with all this money you're stacking up, saved up. Now you want to get into investing your money into regulated investment. Some people want to do real estate. Some people want to uh, do stocks. Some people want to reinvest back to other business. Some people want to reinvest back to the business they are currently running to scale even bigger. You got to reinvest your money or invest your money into investment that's going to help you to grow even more, right? So if you're doing those five things simultaneously, this is it's all simultaneously, increase your cash flow with one opportunity, one decade, cut down all of your one expense, pay off all your bad debts one at a time until it's all done, live below your mean for minimum five years before you change any of your lifestyle. And the last hack is invest to scale. You do those five things simultaneously, I promise you, five years down the road, seven down years in the road, you have more money than you ever, ever dream of. Now, it's quite important for me to wrap up the video by saying all these are hacks. But on top of the hacks, step by step of how to do it, you gotta have discipline, no question about it. You gotta be able to keep your words and whatever you say to people, keep your words. You gotta have clarity of desire Meaning you have to want something very badly and ultimately you got to be able to work hard consistently when you don't feel like it. So those are the, in, in, those are the fundamental parts along with the five hacks I just shared with you. And if you got the work ethic, you keep your words to people, building up your reputation, people start to trust you and you have a strong desire to get to the next level of life. And once you achieve one level, you have another desire to get to another level along with all those five hacks. I tell you right now, your life is going to change. And hopefully one day on July 4th, you'll be able to feel the way I feel. It's not just simply eating great food, drinking nice wine. It is about achieving your financial freedom. And hopefully one day you can share your experience, your wisdom to other people who are also fighting for their financial freedom. All right. Take care. JW here. I'm selling out in about five hours from Greece, Athens to many, many different parts of the cities in Greece and landing in Istanbul, Turkey, seven days from now. Take care. See you next time. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.